Hey everyone, this is my e-cigarette mini fog machine. I think it would be perfect for Halloween to add to your costume for a smoky effect, and also if you want to add it to a jack-o'-lantern and have a portable option instead of using dry ice or heating up a vat of the fog fluid or lugging around this giant fog machine that's the size of like a shoebox when you're trick-or-treating, but then you'd have to find like an alternate power source. So this option is completely portable, it runs off of batteries, and it's really easy to build, at least from my perspective. You will need some soldering skills, and depending on how intricate you want the build to be, you may need some computer programming. I use an Arduino Micro to regulate the amount of smoke that's coming out so it doesn't burn the coils inside of the e-cigarette. But there's also this option of making a little switch. It looks like you have a bomb strap to your chest, so I might second guess walking around with this whole setup. But it's Halloween, people are walking around with plastic knives and masks and blood all over them anyway. So, I'll take my chances. So anyway, I'll show you guys how it works. You turn that on, that'll start heating up your coils. And then there is your smoke. It's coming out at a pretty quick rate. And a little heat it up a little bit. And there you go. And if you want to add that effect to your mask, you can add some heat shrink tubing to this here. And then it starts shooting out. And then I just have this sort of lightly placed here. But you guys get the picture. That would look pretty sick walking to a party having that smoke shooting out of your mask. And if you don't want to have it on constantly, like I said, there's this button here and that'll continue you can see when you turn it off it'll stop so that way you conserve your battery life you won't burn out your coils and everyone's happy so I'll show you guys a brief tutorial on how I built it here are the components for the mini smoke machine you'll need the bubble box portable air pump that also comes with this tubing shown here You'll need some various sizes of heat shrink tubing to connect your wires. You want to look specifically for an e-cigarette that has the variable voltage here on the bottom. There's a little knob. And then also one that has a different type of top. See how that comes apart into two different pieces? Some of them, the button is actually part of the cylinder here. You don't want that because... The only way to really take this is take this out is by wiggling with pliers and you don't want to damage this recharging port here. So look for one that has this little plastic portion at the top and then it'll be much easier to take apart. And then you'll also want a cardamizer that looks like this. You want it to have this dot in the middle, sort of like a cylinder. See if I can get this to focus. There we go. So you can see how it's just a cylinder. There's nothing around it blocking the, the surface. This one would not work. You can see because it has a little ring going outside of that. And that will block you from allowing this to work. I'll show you guys a little bit more in depth with more detail what I'm talking about. You'll also need some speaker wire and a 6 volt 4 AAA battery supply that will power your Arduino. The Arduino is not necessary, I'm using the Arduino Micro. And you'll also want a reed relay, it's a 5 volt DC reed relay. But like I said, you don't need to have this computerized, it just makes it run a lot smoother so that it won't overheat. But if you have this little switch here, It'll work just as nicely. Basically, this is a doorbell switch that I ran in series to this speaker wire here, and that's how you would turn on the coils, and the bubble box air pump would just run continuously, unless you wanted to add another switch and have it all run from this, but I think it works fine when you leave it on. So I'll show you guys a little more in-depth how to put it together. First you want to start by modifying your project box. Use a drill to make holes in the back for your charging port. 
your wires and tubing, and then for your cartomizer, you can also use some grommets to anchor that in place, depending on how nicely you make that hole for this cartomizer here. Then you want to modify your e-cigarette by taking it apart. So first, I have this variable voltage one. You want to rip off this thing here. That will allow you to pull the battery out once you wiggle this free. That's going to come apart. It's going to be very delicate, so be careful. You want to pull out all of the battery and everything so that it's sitting on the table. And then you're going to want to connect a positive wire to the battery and a negative wire to the battery. And that will look something like this. So you want to put one wire here and one wire here. Obviously soldering, you can try and tape it and hold it in place, but it's probably not going to work. Next, you want to prepare the tubing that you're going to use for the enclosure. So you want to take some wire, you want to strip it really long so that you can poke it through using a knife to make a little hole and then poke the wire through. And then you want to attach sort of how the tubing is set like that. You're going to attach the tubing to the inside of that little cylinder there. So you take your wire and you want to have it touching the center and then you want to force the tubing over top and it's a little bit difficult to do I don't know if I'll be able to do it right away on camera but you, you get the picture so yeah. alright so there we go so now you can see the tubing is over top of that little cylinder the wire is touching the center and adding voltage to the cartomizer and then what you want to do is use a grommet to keep this ground wire attached or touching the edge. So I just force that in there. It's going to take some practice and some couple tries to get it, but it's going to look something like this. Then you can test it to your battery and see if it's working. If that's working, you're in good shape. So this is what it's going to kind of look like once you take it out. You're going to want to touch a wire here and here. It's pretty simple. Now, if you don't want to use the Arduino, which I understand, this is simple. You take one wire, you add it to this portion here. You have your positive going to red, so that would be the black one. Okay? And then you're going to have one wire going to your switch and then another wire going to your ground. When you press the button everything will flow around in the circuit and it'll work. Then you just connect your tubing from the box to your pump and turn on the switch. If you're looking for more of a challenge you can try and integrate the Arduino. First you want to power your Arduino with 6 volts or 9 volts depending on what you want to use. 9 volt batteries will work as well. Take your red wire and connect it to the first pin on your Arduino the way it's shown in this diagram here. Then you want to take your black wire, your ground, and attach to the ground. There's little markings on the Arduino so you can see. I'm pretty sure it's the second one from the left right here. That should turn on your Arduino and you can upload your code. I'll leave that in the description. Next, you want to power your cartomizer and integrate the relay. Your positive is going to go to the first pin on the relay. This is what it looks like, the schematic. So your first pin would be right here, and this would be your second, and then these two are what are powered by your Arduino. Now, this sort of works like a gate. 5 volts is a key to open up the gate. So as soon as the Arduino sends 5 volts to these two terminals here, just one here, it's going to allow flow of electricity to go through and go to your cartomizer. So this one's going to be your positive, this one's going to be your negative, and negative being your ground. So 5 volts is going to go to the first pin, your second one is going to go to the ground. So both the 6 volt battery that's powering the Arduino and the Arduino um, output voltage ground 
are going back to the same pin. So you're going to have two connected, two wires connected in Y. Then you're going to take your eSig battery and it's just going to go all the way to the cardamizer. It's going to be this portion right here. So this is going to be your positive. This is going to connect here. And then this power is going to come down. The Arduino is going to give this enough power to unlock the gate and allow power to flow to this portion, which is going to go back up and power your cardamizer right here. So I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, you can contact me on my Facebook Greek Gadget Guru channel, Facebook page, and leave a link in the description for those, as well as some parts that you might need for this project. Here you can see I added the tubing to the jack-o'-lantern, and it gives it a nice smoky, eerie effect. Also, the, the pump with the airflow coming in makes the candle flicker and gives it kind of a cool glow. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me on my Facebook page. Make sure you like and share this video. And thanks for watching.